Hello, my name is Ryan Baxter, and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to uh, create your first Lotus Notes plugin. Um, the first thing we need to do in the first part of this tutorial will cover is how to install the Expeditor Toolkit. The tutorial makes the assumption that you have already downloaded and installed uh, Eclipse into you into develop for Lotus Notes and um, all Expeditor based products. You need to uh, download and, and install Eclipse 342, also known as Eclipse Ganymede. You can download Eclipse 342 from Eclipse.org um, by going to the Downloads page. And then um, down at the bottom you'll see in the Related, sync, related Links section an Eclipse Ganymede link. And then you can click on the Download Ganymede link. On the resulting page there is uh, uh, a package for Eclipse for RCP plugin developers. You want to download that for the uh, appropriate operating system that you have. Once you have Eclipse um, downloaded and installed, you're ready to uh, install the Xpire Toolkit. The Xpire Toolkit can be downloaded from um, lotus.developer.com and uh, on the front page here there's a learn how to use Lotus Expert toolkit to build and test Java applications for Lotus Notes. If you click learn it will bring you to the Expert wiki and you can see here um, one of the prerequisites on this tutorial is uh, the required update site for Lotus Expeditor 621 toolkit. If you click that link it will bring you to the correct page to download um, the Expeditor Toolkit. Once it's download, you need to uh, unzip the zip file, but after that you can go back to Eclipse and um, go up to Help, Software Updates, and Find and Install. We want to search for new features to install, and then we'll click Next. Now we need to uh, Select the update site for um, the expired toolkit, and that's uh, we're basically going to point to the folder uh, with, that was created when we, when we unzipped the expired toolkit. So if we click new local site, and then go to wherever you downloaded the uh, expired toolkit and unzipped it. Um, in my case, it's in downloads uh, expired toolkit and Expert toolkit install and I'll click OK and it will uh, verify the name and path and I click OK again you'll see uh, I'll have Expert toolkit, Expert toolkit install and I want that selected. Now I can click finish and it will bring up uh, the contents of that update site here um, for the most part, you're going to want to uh, install everything that's in here, so you can just click the top box and click next. And then you can accept the uh, license and click next again. And finally finish. Now this will install the Xperia Toolkit into your Eclipse runtime. At any feature verification dialogs, you want to make sure you click install all. That way you only have to click this once. After it's finished installing, uh, Eclipse will prompt you to restart. And you want to click yes. After Eclipse uh, restarts, you need to select your workspace again. And click OK. And now when Eclipse starts, it will um, immediately ask you to configure the Expeditor Toolkit. For Lotus Notes, you need to select uh, Lotus Notes 8 as the test environment. And now you need to browse to the target location. So if you click Browse, and you need to navigate to your uh, Lotus Notes installation. In my case, uh, Lotus Notes is installed to the 
C slash notes directory. Uh, the default location is in um, C program files, IBM, uh, Lotus Notes. Once you browse to your notes uh, install location, you need to navigate to the framework directory, RCP, and then select Eclipse. And then you can click OK. Then the uh, VM name and compiler compliance level get filled out for you uh, automatically. And after that, you can just click OK. Now this will configure uh, Eclipse for uh, for plugin development for uh, the Expeditor runtime um, for Lotus Notes. After uh, the Expeditor toolkit is set up, you can um, close this overview window. If you'd like, you can browse around and uh, find out about different features the Expeditor toolkit has. You click. Uh, the X button and the welcome. You're back to your uh, Eclipse IDE workspace. Um, the first thing we want to do, though, is switch to uh, switch our perspectives to the plugin development perspective. So if you go to Window, Open Perspective, and Other, and then select Plugin Development, that will just uh, change your your workspace to uh, or your perspective to plugin development. Now we're ready to um, configure and uh, install uh, configure um, Eclipse to launch Notes. You can go to Run and then select um, Run Configurations. There's a new um, configuration called Client Services. If you double click that, that will create a new uh, Client Services configuration. Um, the first thing you want to do is give your configuration a name. In this case, we'll call it Notes. And everything else is already set up for you. All you need to do is click Apply. And then Run. If everything worked correctly, you should see uh, your password prompt come up, as well as the Lotus Notes uh, window um, without any problems.